They're pursuing the policy in the way that has been carried out now for a hundred years, literally. Small steps, so nobody notices, or at least people pretend not to notice, establish a military zone. Uh, the Palestinians who live there have to be displaced because it's a military zone, no settlement allowed. And pretty soon there's a military settlement, Nahal settlement, or another, then sooner or later it becomes an actual settlement. Uh, meanwhile, dig wells, uh, dispossess the population, uh, set up green zones, a large variety of techniques which have by now uh, reduced the, pop the Arab population from about 600,000, uh, 300,000 in 1967 to roughly 60,000 today. As I mentioned, that essentially imprisons what's left. Next contender, please. Your name, sir? Yitzhak Shamir. Your occupation? The West Bank and Gaza. And your specialist subject? Human rights. Mr. Shamir, you have 30 seconds starting from now. According to Amnesty International, which country has imprisoned more than 5,000 people without trial in the last three years? Uh, South Africa? No, Israel. Between 1987 and 1989, which country killed 540 unarmed demonstrators? South Africa. No, Israel. Which country has shot dead more than 110 children since 1987? South Africa. No, Israel. Which country produces the nicest oranges? Ah, Israel. No, South Africa.